Hello and welcome back to Pitcher Contraptions. As you can remember from last week, I'm helping out a church with their VBS Bible group and it's space themed, so that means I get to build some really cool props for all of you guys, which includes this control panel, which we're working on today. So as you can see behind me, this is our base of our mission control panel. I didn't bother going and filming the build because let's face it, it's pretty simple. We've got a front wall here and a top wall for the gauges, dials, and indicators, which we'll be making right now on this episode. Hello and welcome back, Patriot Contraptions here, and today we are continuing with our space theme from last week. So basically what that means is that we are going to be building a control panel for the, um, I guess the space center for this performance I'm helping out with. Uh, I don't know exactly how it works, but anyway, this is going to be in the background. And it's supposed to look like one of those giant Star Trek style control panels or sci-fi film control panels where you push the buttons and the dials. Of course, we're on a budget, so the framework of this is actually built from quarter inch plywood, whereas the top here is also quarter inch and it's backed up by two by fours, make it nice and simple to uh, put together and then just paint up. I'm not gonna bother showing you guys that. Most of you probably know how to use a saw if you wanna build one of these. As far as the decorations though, I've made some interesting choices. So I've got some poker chips here. I'm not sure how the church will feel about poker chips, but um, they work good because they look like buttons. So we're going to be mounting these up here. Then we're going to be using some cutouts that I've made. I've got some cutout foam dials and gauges that I've painted up. I also have some random, uh, I don't know what to call these, just two-tone foam pieces. And then I've made some two-tone popsicle sticks as well, or this is actually a three-tone one that's going to be in the decorations. And I made a whole bunch of these little buttons that are going to go pretty much all over the place, plus whatever else I come up with while we're at it. So, let's get into building this. I think I'm going to start off by putting a row of buttons right there. Now, in order to keep the mounting process simple, I've decided to opt for the handyman special, the hot glue gun, along with a yardstick in order to keep everything flat and even when I'm building. At this point, I got so focused on working because I'd been only getting like four hours of sleep for the past couple of days that I just decided that I was going to do the rest of the video in beautiful voiceover. So enjoy. Uh, as I continued to put in the buttons, which are actually poker chips, I used the yardstick to align them at a two inch gap. Now it's important to note that when I'm putting these down and with all the props I'm going to talk about today, these are all odd numbers. So the reason they're odd numbers is because there's an artistic principle that I don't remember the name of that just says odd numbers look better if I remember correctly. And so I decided that odd numbers for all the gauges, switches, dials, displays would probably be a good idea to keep with when I was building them. And therefore, most of the things are either in five sets, three sets, or like seven, nine, eleven sets. Just always an odd number. Even one set, for example. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm finishing up the poker chips, and then I'm going to swap over and start using these little popsicle sticks. Now, some of these are two-tone popsicle sticks, some of them are three-tone popsicle sticks that I've made. And I'm just mounting them to look kind of like some sort of communication display where... If you were like talking into them like they were giant microphones maybe or some type of digital readout possibly and i think they worked out great for that from like 10 feet away or 20 feet away you can't really tell what they are they just look cool so i'm mounting a few on each side and then i decided to go horizontal just to mix things up because i thought i could have them all in a row looking normal or i could just change it and by changing it i found in the past that Doing something different makes it look even cooler than if everything looks the same. So sometimes it's worth it if you ever plan to do one of these to just play around a little bit and do something different because that way the audience um, won't be expecting it when they're looking at the control panel and be like, whoa, that's, uh, that's different, that's cool, that's neat, that's sci-fi. And so I'm trying to get that kind of look going here as I work on the panel. Then I'm going to swap over to the other side 
and start working with the readout gauges that I have. So I made three of these kind of half circle foam readout gauges and they're pretty neat. They're just regular dollar store foam and then I've got a scale of 1 to 100 on them and then I've put different lines at different positions to look like they're giving a readout. Again, I went with three of them for artistic reasons and then I decided, well, these are probably like some sort of power um, output device. So I thought maybe I should have the two-tone bigger strips of foam I painted, which look kind of like a power readout right next to them. So that it kind of goes with that same like theme on the control panel. So on the left, we have sort of our communication setup. On the right, we've got kind of our power system setup, which I thought was kind of neat. Now, in order to make it even look more like that, I decided to pull out some more poker chips and go ahead and put two poker chips by each one of the gauges so that it looks like it turns them on and off, followed by a di display of nine of the squares, which will look kind of like digital buttons because they'll be different colors and they'll look kind of flashy. So I thought that was a cool idea. So I went ahead and put nine of those also under each one of the gauges and followed up by just two buttons off all by themselves on the far right side just to kind of look different. As a final section of the control panel, I decided it wasn't complete without some kind of radar display, so I went ahead and painted a nice big green radar display right on the center of the panel so that we can track all of those UFOs that are definitely coming to invade. So, um, that pretty much sums up this episode. I don't normally do a lot of prop building, but I've actually had a lot of fun with this. So if you want to see me build more sci-fi props, please let me know in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe. Your subscription means a lot to me. I have a full-time job, so making these is not very easy anymore. I work six days a week right now. So definitely be sure to subscribe as a thank you to me if you appreciate this video. And I'll see all of you in the next episode. Have a fantastic day. Patriot Contraptions, signing out.